News. We begin with breaking news, a breaking news update. The Supreme Court has ruled former President Donald Trump cannot be disqualified from running for a second term because of his conduct surrounding the January 6th Capitol assault. CBS correspondent Skylar Henry reports the unanimous decision found Colorado's Supreme Court ruling was wrong. The nation's highest court handed former President Donald Trump a unanimous victory, ruling that Colorado cannot keep him off the ballot for the 2024 presidential election. The rationale here really is we don't want states to be able to do this. At issue was a narrow Colorado Supreme Court decision in a case brought by voters arguing Trump should be removed from the state's ballots because he committed insurrection on January 6th and was disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which states no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office who took an oath and then engaged in insurrection. We saw what happened when Donald Trump was on the ballot for president and lost. He refused to concede and ultimately incited a violent insurrection. But during oral arguments in early February, the justices seemed skeptical whether states can use the obscure constitutional provision to kick Trump off the ballot rather than leaving it up to Congress. The court didn't weigh in on whether January 6th was an insurrection or whether former President Trump engaged in it. The justices instead focused on the structural issue, whether courts can go out on their own and enforce this Civil War era provision, and the unanimous answer was no, they cannot. Without Congress helping us figure out who engaged in an insurrection, whether or not there's, there's a problem, whether or not um, somebody has been found liable, guilty, whatever it is, it's not up to one state to do it. Congress needs to set the rules here. In a social media post, the current GOP presidential frontrunner called the Supreme Court decision a big win for America. Trump still faces criminal cases surrounding the events of January 6th. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.